Alright, welcome to part two on configuring the Ubuntu server. So last time we got it installed, we did a little bit of configurations, we got our hands a little bit dirty with the Ubuntu server. Now you should be at this part where the server has powered off, everything is installed, we're pretty much ready to go. But before we hit start again, I want to go ahead and walk you through a couple of configurations that we have to make before we actually do that. So we want to go to storage, and you see this right here where it says empty. Make sure you click remove attachment. Remove. And that will remove that drive so you no longer have to worry about that. Okay, so then the next thing you want to do, you want to click on network. And you want to go to adapter 2. And you make sure this is enabled network adapter. And it's the vbox.net 0. Click OK. Now to make sure those configurations that we set for that virtual host, we go back to preferences network host only network click the little screwdriver again and I made a, actually a little mistake last time instead of 192.6856.1 I wrote 101 make sure this is just one because the 101 is going to be the IP address of the machine so um, yeah make sure that's there make sure enable server is checked off click OK OK now we're ready to start the server Now the server is starting. Okay, the server has started. So we're going to go ahead and log in. And we want to make a change to a file on Etsy network. And we want to say interfaces. And what we want to do in this file, we want to get down here and we want to put in um, our static IP address. This is the way we're going to be able to SSH into this box. So let's go ahead and do that auto. So let's go ahead and write a little comment here so we know what's happening. Uh, let's say um, static IP address. Okay, so now we're going to say auto ETH1, that's our interface, I face ETH1, INET, static. We want a static one, ADD. R E S S for our address 192.168.56 and then now you can pretty much give it any IP but like I told you guys we're gonna go ahead and give it 101 and we're gonna say net mask 2.55.255.255.0 and that will do it so now you click um, escape and then you do shift right quit okay so now we have written that we want to go ahead and restart the server so sudo reboot so we're going to go ahead and pull up the terminal here so we can get ready to ssh into that client so it's going to be ssh rick at or IP address 192.168.56.101. Then it's going to ask us if you want to uh, save this host for future reference. Say yes. And then it's asking for our password. Enter our password. And we have successfully SSH'd into our server. So this is pretty much the same... Um, feeling you would have is if you were actually on a real production server. So from here, you can actually minimize VirtualBox and pretend like you're actually on the server. And this is the whole point of this whole entire thing. So all the commands that I'm running right now are on the server. So we can do like a sudo app.get update, just to make sure there's any updates for Ubuntu, which I'm sure there is. And it's actually running all through all those commands. So right now we have just installed, configured a Linux server. So make sure you go on to the next video and watch testing out the server 